everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Urbex. On today's episode, we're taking a look at this abandoned Kroger in Campbellsville, Kentucky. And yes, this is an inside tour. I managed to get inside to document this place during one of the graph auctions. For those of you that are unfamiliar with what the graph auctions is, it's a company that will take over liquidated stores. Basically, after the store closes, they come in and everything that's left over, they will auction off. They usually have a public preview day the day before the auction, which is what you're looking at right now. So I like to come to these auctions not only to get to see a store that once was and document it, but also to try and see if I can find any remnants of the store. You know, in this case, I was looking for Kroger logos, anything that might have the Kroger logo on it that I could potentially buy or, you know, have to add to my museum and preserve a piece of history. Sometimes the auctioneers are nice enough to just be like, yeah, we're really not going to probably get any money for that. It's not going to be something we can auction off if it's like a sign or something, you know, and a lot of times they'll either just give it to you or let you buy it for, you know, a reasonable amount of money. My first encounter with one of these auctions was the Fisher Foods that we documented a little while back and there's a video on it. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to go check that out. Not that I have anything against Amish people or Mennonites. Um, I actually find them quite fascinating and their culture is quite fascinating. Um, but it was just quite odd to see them here at this auction. I was kind of scratching my head going, what would they buy out of this auction? Like, I don't know. It was just kind of weird, but kind of awesome to see as well. I didn't even know that there were any Amish people living around the uh, Campbellsville, Kentucky area. We have one of the largest Amish communities in the entire country up in Holmes County, Ohio, and I absolutely love visiting there. The people are just so nice, and it's just so peaceful up there. So yeah, right now what we're taking a look at is all the back rooms. This would have been like the meat department where they would have, um, you know, sliced up all the meat, prepared it, and packaged it for sale. Um, you can see some of the machines here. It was kind of cool to get to go back here because these are areas that you normally don't get to go as a customer. This Kroger was very frustrating because it was one of the smaller ones. It's not like your big giant superstores that you'd find in the big cities. And I was having a hard time finding anything to uh, document that said Kroger on it. But back here by the trash compactor, we're going to get our first look at anything Kroger related. And that would be this chart here that says key retailing. That was kind of a cool chart to see. Nothing that I would have wanted in my museum, but still cool to see. I'm assuming these were employees of the graph auction and I'm not quite sure what they were doing. They had all these metal poles and they were like sawing them into smaller pieces. It was quite curious, quite obnoxious and just loud and weird and I had to kind of navigate around them because I didn't want to go near people working with power tools. I just kind of wanted to give them their space.
I'm not quite sure what that room was at the top of the stairs. I'm assuming it had, like, electrical in it or something. I don't know. It just said, um, authorized personnel only, basically. And it was locked, so I wasn't able to get inside. But right now, we're going to take a look through some of the coolers. This would have been the main cooler where you would have gotten all your milk and your dairy products. So if you had worked at Kroger, this would have been your view. And now it's time to do a restroom review. Yes, we're doing restroom reviews here on the channel because oh boy, oh boy, was this a good one. Yikes, just yikes. Look at that. And I'm sure they just weren't maintaining it because who's using it anymore, but still, whoa. Whoa. So now we're going to take a look at the pharmacy. This was a lot bigger than I expected. Of course, I was always on the other side of the counter as a customer. But going in here, you really get a perspective as to how far back it goes. You can see here, this is the drive up window where you could have gotten um, your prescriptions picked up through your vehicle. Um, you know, just kind of cool to be back here. So let's take a look at what the store actually looks like. We can see a fire plan here, which gives us kind of an overview of how big the store is and where everything's located. Not very big. Here we have the money services as well as customer service and all the tobacco sales, you know, cigarettes.
Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash tiltedtripodmedia and become a member today and gain access to all of my secret content as well as other member-exclusive perks. And thank you for supporting the future of video. Thanks everyone for coming along to take a look at this now abandoned Kroger. It was awesome getting to go inside and see all the remnants of this old Kroger. If you like this kind of content, I do videos just like this each and every week, but that's going to do it for now. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.